My name's Finn Oldfield, and today I'm going to be interviewing actors who work with in app solutions. So, with Jenny McIntyre, who is an actor based in Manchester. If you put crisps, any kind of crisps, or like dry roasted peanuts in front of me, they will disappear quick. <laughs> they will be gone. It's like, it's, it's, especially at Christmas, if there's a bag, an unopened bag of like sweet chili sensations, oh, just don't even put them near out. me because they will be gone in 10 minutes. Like, <laughs> the main thing's the buzz. Mm. I think, and just like there's the, that collective, it's almost like a collective consciousness, really, of when you sit down. And then that, that, that whole atmosphere, and it's it's the moment when the lights go down as well, and you, and you just know that like, something's about to start. And, mm. and, the, and there's been nothing like that at all in lockdown. And the only thing that's come close is probably like when everyone sits down to watch Boris, and even then it's not an excitement. It's like <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> so I think it's I think it's that buzz and that kind of like just that oh, where you just can kind of immerse yourself into this world that's being created for you, and just kind of enjoy watching other people enjoy themselves I think as well like yeah. on the stage it just makes you go <laughs> the first professional thing I did was with NAX they asked me to write a new script for them cool. uh, to do they're doing like they're filming like a so it's like a TIE performance but they're going to film it so they can send it out to schools because obviously you can't do it live at the minute so that was good that was the first bit of paid writing I've ever had I think it was very easy at the beginning to think we should be doing so much and social media hasn't helped with seeing people like everyone see people seeing like they were still doing things or yeah. doing all these workshops doing meeting all these cast of directors or mm. applying for work doing their own zoom stuff and it was just a lot i think it's just you just do what you can i mean no one knows how to deal with it we're getting better at it sort of but it's just going from day to day doing what you need to do and stop trying to put pressure on yourself to do anything really try not to compare your career with others like I, remembering that on social media we only see the good news you don't see all like so if someone says oh i booked a gig um you don't see like the that you know it could have been months years that people have not had an audition or just not been able to get in the room um so it's very easy to compare compare yourself with others i mean during lockdown there's been a whole thing of um learning about um creatives to having day jobs and yeah. not laughing at them because yeah. I, I don't i don't know a single person that can live solely off of their creative job and and also letting people know i ha really hope a big thing comes out of this is that the yes no campaign about just either way letting people know i think a lot of us have a lot more understanding of each other and each other's difficulties um so for example, I think because a lot of us have had to self-tape more or do, I know people be doing auditions over Zoom in the normal world, um, <laughs> like so from being like living in Manchester, if I'd had to go down to London for an audition with like a couple of days notice, it, and if you have to go down like really early in the morning, it's, the prices are ridiculous. Like it could be the difference between you being in your overdraft and not like by like a few, a few quid and being like, well, I've still got half the month left, so. <laughs> hopefully we're going into a time now where if you're like i can't get down for this audition i don't have the money and I, I, just, I don't have the time there may be opportunities now where you can either do more self-taping or do auditions over zoom it's good to hear you say you know how it's slightly more accessible for northern actors who are you know up and coming you know trying to break into like the london scene and yeah because it's just it can be one of those things but i've even like there's been times where there's been um auditions for things that are going to happen in manchester so either filmed or put on in manchester and they still want you to go down to london to audition and you're like yeah. but why yeah. <laughs> but why i, I why? mean in this city you're going to do the thing in like oh <laughs> there's i mean there's a lot of talk about that um a lot of people i think i think things are trying to change because i think people are speaking out about it more because people are just going but you're cutting off a lot of talent we could go to a whole massive rant about that yeah we, that's the next video um.